Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland from Graphic in Motion. In this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my Summer of Love template. So before we get started inside After Effects, I just want to show you quickly what you will get when you unzip the file. So inside the Summer of Love folder you will see that there are two different After Effects projects and one of them is called Summer of Love No Plugins and the other one is called Summer of Love Optical Flares. And I think it's not hard to figure out what this means. So if you don't have optical flares installed on your system, then just use the no plugins version. There you will find all the flares pre-rendered. And if you have optical flares and you maybe want to do some changes with the flares, you know, change the style or the color or the brightness or whatever, then just use optical flares. So in my case, I will now use the optical flares version to show you the customization. So let's get started. When you open up the project inside After Effects, you will see that there is one composition open and this is called the render composition. So this is the composition where all scenes are together and this is the composition that you want to render out after the customization. So you see inside this composition we have 21 scene compositions and all these 21 scenes are just edited together. So this makes it possible for you to also change the structure of this animation or of this movie very easily. So for example, you know, if you don't want this title here, which is the scene number three, and you don't want this to be the third scene, but maybe you want it to be the fourth or the fifth, so you can just easily take it, move it to a new position, you know, and now take the other ones and put them here. And now into a new position and maybe you also want to put it inside here. And you see now I changed the order of my scenes very fast and very easy. So it's absolutely no problem. I will just undo this. It's absolutely no problem to change the order of these scenes. And of course also if you don't like a scene or if you don't have so many placeholders or whatever, but you know the, the whole template features 59 placeholder so you can enter up to 59 medias, pictures, photos or of course videos. So let's say maybe you don't want to have one of these scenes in there so maybe one with a lot of placeholders. Let's take a look but I will find one. So here we have a lot of placeholders and maybe you don't like this picture and you say no I don't have so many nice photos in my slideshow. I just want to delete this so you can delete it by press the delete key or of course you can just enable it and then just take all the other scenes and just drag them to the right position. Again, and now you see we have a new order again. So it's very easy to change the structure of the whole template. And now let's dive into the scenes and let's edit some titles and import some footage. I will not show you how to do this in all 21 scenes because it's really all the same all the time. You know, if you know how to customize one, you can customize all of these scenes. So let's get started. I will do two of these scenes and we will do the first two. So the first scene is a titles only scene. I open up the scene by double clicking on the composition. And of course, I also can find all my scenes here in my project area under my scenes folder. So open up scene number one. And you see that you have only a few layers here. So the first one is the title layer. It's just a text layer. And to edit this, just double click the text. And now you can enter your title. So I will enter here for a very special person because you know, it is a very romantic template. And so you probably will do it for a very special person. And of course, now you have other options. You can, for example, just uh, delete these filigree animations or this, this graphic elements here because maybe you don't like it, you know, then you can just disable them. But I want to leave them in my animation because I like them. And if you want to do some in-depth changes, so maybe you want to change the look completely, then you have to unhide all the layers. You see that this uh, hide all button is selected. And if I press it and unselect it, then you see that a few more layers will appear. And you can see that we have some color correction here. And if you enable this layer, you will see what this does. So, you know, the footage gets quite a 
different look and most of these are locked or so that you don't mess around with them uh, if it's not really on purpose so I lock them but you can easily unlock them and now do all changes you want so maybe you don't want to have the flare in there you know you can just disable the flare or of course if you have optical flares you can go to the option and change something here but I don't want to do this now and you could also remove the vignette you know we have a vignette that makes uh, the borders here a little bit darker we have a camera filter that gives us a little bit of a warm feeling and we also have a blur vignette in some of the scenes not all of them have a blur vignette so if we disable this you see what this does it just blurs out the borders a little bit so you can change all of this you know you can change the color correction you can take a look what i did here i more or less uh, created some kind of a vintage look you know i increased the reds in the heights a little bit and a little bit of the greens and i increased the blues in the shadows a little bit uh, added some more contrast and some more saturation so it's more or less a pretty basic vintage look color correction and you see when you you can turn off for example this one or change the saturation if you want it to be not that colorful you could just turn it down and give it a completely different look like this and you can change this for every single scene so you don't have overall color correction because the scenes are a little bit different of course and so I just decided not to make a master color correction but to give you the possibility to change the look of each scene individually but I think in most of the cases you just don't want to change anything you just want to edit your titles put in your footage and render it out so okay i will stop talking messing around here and i will show you the important stuff and we will move to scene two so in scene two we just open it up you see that we have some footage placeholders here and again one title not every scene has titles not every scene has footage placeholders but every scene has footage placeholders or titles at least so let's say i want to put in a picture here of me and my girl uh, so i will just import my file and i will go to file import file and i will move quickly to my pictures and i will just import a picture and then i have to enter my footage placeholder uh, one more hint i have created a your footage folder here because you know when you import 59 pictures it can be quite a long list so it's better to organize them so just drag them in here and now we will enter our footage placeholder by double clicking this and of course you also have a folder where you can find all the footage placeholders here so we are inside footage one and i will just drag in my photo and i will just put it under the frame i could delete these two layers this is just a placeholder it's just the footage title and the background i will just disable them for now and now you see this photo is quite big so I have to scale it down and another thing you see that I made all footage placeholders as squares and I did this because in our days many people use photos from different apps on their handies or from Instagram and many of these pictures have a square form so I didn't want to go to a, to a 16 to 9 uh, or to a typical old photo format so I just used I just decided to use the square so it's really versatile you can really put in photos you can also put in some videos and you know it doesn't really matter what what size the photo has nearly every photo will fit into these placeholders so I just roughly scale it and I roughly position it and then I go back to my scene to check the result and you see now the photo is inside here and of course this uh, applies to all of these placeholders so i will just do one more open up the footage placeholder import your file let's say i want to take some atmospheric shot like this one here and again drag it into your footage and then i just will oops and i just will drag it in here under my frame that's important disable my placeholders here and scale this a little bit and just go back to my scene and you see now i have this photo in here too and of course the same applies for video you know you just import your video footage drag it into the placeholder 
and it will play inside your scene. And another thing is just to enter the title again. You see the titles are always only text layers, so you double click it. And I will just give it a title like, let's say, Spring, oops, Spring 2013. So we have Spring 2013, at least now when I'm recording this. And I will do maybe a presentation about this. Okay. Uh, and this is it. You can just go through all the scenes and, you know, edit your titles, import your footage and render out the whole thing. Uh, of course, you probably want to add some music and therefore you just have to import a music file. The same as always, import file, search your music file and then you can drag it inside the music composition or you can also just drag it below the render scene or just import it directly to the render scene. It doesn't make a real difference, you know? And then you can render out your finished video. So you see, customization is pretty easy. I hope that you like the template and I hope that you create some really romantic and nice slideshows with it and that you can make some special persons happy with this template. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.